what we are watching over here in the crypto market is something which we have discussed in the past. We've talked about this possibility of the price bouncing back up. We've talked about the possibility of price going this high. Why? There was a possibility of a RSI breaking higher and it did break higher. Now it's happening on a higher time frame. There's a three day chart, not a short term chart. This is one of the reasons why you're actually watching few assets moving in the market, giving you some opportunity if you are positioned well enough. Now it's not a huge 10x for sure. It is a short term trading opportunity that is existing in the market. So we are trying to follow all of those, but understand the fact that XRP is kind of showing this move out here. So if you are an XRP holder and that's the only asset you have, just selling that and moving out into another asset is not going to be an option. If you want, yes, a portion of that, maybe 5%, maybe 10%, using that to trade other asset, make profit, buy more XRP, that can work. Now, this is something I'm looking at and I think this is what's happening in the market now. And that means you are about to see the price running higher. Welcome to the Sinovic Investor Family, where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10 person of this world. Right now, before we jump in, please do smash that like button for me. I want to actually give you guys some perspective to give you an idea of where this run up is going to go. Because I really believe this is going to be a monumental cycle for XRP because of two reasons. One, it has been suppressed too much. And now the marketing side of an asset which is already super high on the utility, which is a huge, huge thing, adoption, which is the next level, and now the marketing. All of this combined is what you see in the price action as soon as the market goes up. We have seen this last time in a lot of altcoins, which were kind of, you know, crazy. Some of them went up 100x, some of them went up 1000x. So I'm not talking about like, you know, 500,000x kind of thing, but you can still imagine right now XRP is at 0.5. $5, $50, that's 100x, not 1,000x. Even that is going to be monumental for a lot of us here. From $5, you'll see big guys, you know, taking profits. So once you understand this time, it is going to be big. You now need to understand, okay, not all assets are going to perform in a same manner. Some of them are going to do 500x. Some of them are going to do 100x. So you need to have a portfolio, which is a little bit, balance in terms of your risk tolerance. Not everyone has the same risk tolerance. That's why when we go through a one-on-one -on -one session, we try to break things down and see what's good in that ideology. I give my thought process on that while looking through your portfolio. And we are going through that hard schedule now. As you go through the market now, you do understand the fact that there is a lot happening. Like, if you are literally looking at this, that's like a lot of things I'm going through. Like a lot of questions, a lot of answers. As much as possible, we are going through all of those. Why? Because as soon as you see a break higher here, the first run up will be starting in a lot of altcoins. So you will see this reaching this level of resistance. That's a key area. And if the price actually takes a bit of time to break that level, you will watch money moving into the altcoins during that time of a correction. And you will watch a lot of alts popping, maybe 100, maybe 300 percent. But yeah, we are trading sometimes with a 2x, sometimes a 3x, not 10, 20, 50x, you know, that's so high of a risk level. So that means if you can actually observe the market doing 100 percent, you make 300 percent. If the market is doing a 33 percent, you make a 100 percent gain and you move out. So this depends on what type of trader you are, what type of investor you are. And if you are more like, now nah, I'm a long-term guy looking at this asset, which has exponential potential in this market cycle, I agree on that. Why? Because we are watching the world is moving into this area of a crypto world or a blockchain-based world where everything will be tokenized, almost every assets will come onto the ledgers and you need something big something interoperable and scalable to use all these things coming on. 
And that's where we see like, you know, XRP is kind of getting massive adoption. These things are huge in adoption and marketing as well. The general public or those who are in crypto but don't know about XRP is getting an exposure of understanding of this asset. And as soon as they see the prices going up, that's a FOMO scenario we are talking about. That means literally a lot of people are going to come in. We discussed about the possibility of the total crypto market and we do understand the fact that it is kind of you know aligned with what Bitcoin does. And you can literally see the possibility or the reality here where the price action is showing you that Bitcoin is in this range and you take that onto a weekly or a macro chart and it is clear that Bitcoin made a possible double bottom here, a possible double bottom. At the same time, you saw that the RSI did something different. It put in a lower low. In technical terms, that's a hidden bullish divergence. Or in other words, sellers entered the market and tried pushing this down. They went on, but they failed. That means the bulls were really strong in the asset at that price range. Not at all ranges, but at that price point. That's important to understand. Now, you go into XRP, you're watching all of this and you're asking the question, okay, we are actually talking about different possibilities. Great. How can the price actually run up like this? I'm like, why not? That's the first question. But do you can actually literally see this range. That price action was never changed. This breakout is valid. Consider that as a mother candle, which went up. All of these kids are still in that range, obeying the direction of that mother candle. So when you see a reversal like this, imagine something is coming in. So we're taking this bar candle from here, which kind of gives you an idea of a burst and then a correction back to the downside and a slow rounded bottom formation popping through. If that's what's coming in, we're watching somewhere close to 1.8 to $2.2 in XRP as a first run up from here. Imagine we are right now at 0.5. So when we do talk about the possibility of this asset going up to $2, that's a 300% run up. And if you do get a short term range like this, where you are going to see the price coming back down to a dollar, that's like a 50% drop. So if you do know where the prices are slowing down, at least on a daily or a four hour or a 12 hour, you will get the idea like, okay, uh, I should take some profits. Then the price come back down and give you the other signal. I should buy back in. And then it goes back up. So if you kind of handle that position clearly, we'll be going through all of that every single day here as much as possible in the YouTube channel. But for sure, we go through hundreds of different assets in the same scenario, giving you all these in Patreon. So if you want to follow all of those, you can look at the link and that's in the description below. Now, jumping back into the idea of price going up. It's not a hype. It's not something which is like, you know, a huge speculation. There's something we are taking in from the history. And history has been clear all the time. Once you are starting to trend higher, once you're starting to trend higher, once you're breaking through a range, things change and things change dramatically. Last time, yes, as soon as we got this, we got the SEC coming in. Maybe it's the conspiracy, anything is possible. But what we do understand is this trend line was kept intact, bulls held. And that is one of the reasons why you see the price going back up and going up like nuts without the US exchanges, without a lot of different country kind of, you know, being foremost into this. They were all like skeptical. This time it's not. This time you're seeing massive marketing efforts, massive campaigns from Ripple itself and a lot of different XRP Ledger developers are developing different projects and doing the marketing for that. It all comes back to the XRP Ledger, the networks. That's important. The nodes in that network, which actually serve a purpose, is going to bring a lot more value for this asset. Now, yeah, for sure. Technicals are what we focus on to understand the psychology of the market. As we talked about, like when the prices go down and this happens, you know it's going to go back up. When the opposite happens, like the prices go up, the RSI goes down, you know the price is going to go back down. We got something like that back in the day here. We got that divergence since then, we didn't go back down. So that 
held throughout the history. So if you are to believe that, then that means you have an edge in the market. Now, if you take that idea and zoom in, we talked about this as an opportunity last time. This is creating a possible movement to the upside. The RSI is already saying, oh, I'm going back up. Last time the RSI was here, the price was here. Where was the price? This was that range. Say somewhere around 0.74, somewhere around 0.75. Hmm. We have a violent run up coming. It's hard to agree at this point, but once you get that candle moving up here, uh, at that point, you know, thinking about a trade is going to be a waste of time. At that time, thinking about adding more to dollar cost average may not make sense. So you don't want to run and chase these kind of candles or run ups. You want to be in an asset which is trending higher. You want to make sure it's putting in higher highs. You want to make sure it's putting in higher lows. This is what you want to see. Each time that monkey jumps, it come and land on a higher base. That's important because next time when it jumps, it's going to jump to a higher level. That's where you take profits. Now, as we discussed, each and every scenario of the price action and different assets in the market, you do understand the fact that there is hundreds, if not thousands of assets which are going to run up, run up heavily in this cycle. And some of them are already giving you that taste and we are kind of following them up and giving you the idea as it is in the market right now. So if, again, you receive value, you receive something valuable from this channel, please do smash that like button. And I'm really happy to see the ratio of the views to the likes. A lot of people are now hitting that like button and I'm thankful for all of you guys. So that's it for today and I'll meet you on the next video. Bye for now.